So how to build a swale? So I have done over two acres of swale. I've been, put them on other people's property. I've, and I've always done it with a shovel and an A-frame. And an A-frame is really simple. I'll go over how to make one, how to use one in a separate video in the how-to. But you just find level, you plot it out, and then you create a, you, you create a line. And you would dig, and that would be your contour line. So you would use that A-frame and you'd find level and then you would go to the next and go to the next and stake the feet out each way. And then you've got this line. And you could connect with the string or you could just eyeball it. But then you're going to dig out into the hill and then you're going to put the dirt on the lower side of that line. So you're going to start the digging at that line back and put it on. And as you go, you're going to be digging out and it's going to go up and that's your berm and this is your ditch. So your ditch actually might not be that deep off of the original, the original ground, but it's twice as much deep as it is high on this side because you keep going down, you keep coming up in the same proportion. So you created this yin yang kind of thing and so you're going up and out and so the water can go down and then has this surface, this, all these surfaces to just press into. And if you made your swale flat, it's gonna be flat while it does it. And it is passive when it's flat, it still allows it to just soak all the way in. And you plant really absorbent grasses and plants there all in the path, like clover is really great it will just soak right in like a Fukuoka uh, style kind of garden. Uh, that's what I did in many areas. And so you just dig them out. You quickly put seeds down and mulch down to cover it up to, you know, cutting earth is never, never a simple thing. It's traumatic. It's, it's very traumatic for the soil life, for the soil. So we have to do our part to get back. We gotta put compost in and you know, compost teas and mulch and seeds and life and quickly roots and cover it up. Heal that space as fast as possible. So you've put in the swale, it's on contour. Now when it rains, it comes and, and, and water's infiltrated in there and passively soaks in and feeds those trees and then shaded by those trees and creates this beautiful system. Now, if you're in a drier region, you might actually have diversion drains that are diverting water in to connect to a pond or swale or catchment area of all sorts of different combinations of things in order to get enough. Because it might, you might have to bring that water in and focus it for it be enough for people, wildlife to be in that region because it might be just so bad, it might be just so dry. So, Diversion drains don't have to be always sealed. They, 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 they can be semi-pervious. Uh, you could be pitting them and putting swales in them or mulch pits in them. There's lots of different ways, but if it's sealed, it's, it's completely impervious and then you can't, you can't have any soakage uh, or catchment in that area. And th that may be what you want. Maybe you have salty water and you gotta get it through that area. You don't want that salt to be settling into your crop area or something like that. It really depends on your situation. What's, what's rather neat about diversion drains and swales and all these different systems is you can actually hook up these series of, you know, cutoffs and, and flags and, and ways to divert the water on. And then, then you could have pipe releases all along the way. You could have, because it's on contour, you could have gravity irrigation fed off of these. There's a lot of possibilities, especially, I mean, especially if it's sealed, you know, it, because, because it's being held and then you can just release it. So there, there, there's a lot, a lot of different possibilities, a lot of different objectives. I mean, for instance, I believe it's Bill that talks about using infrared sensors and quick releases from these contour waterways of water to put out fires, sub, like surface fires and so there, there, there's a lot of different you know, ideas that we could apply and things we could do. We just have to start thinking about it and trying it out and testing it.